Hi everybody, it's Oksana. Welcome to my March favorites. Um, I have a few things here to show you and then I'm going to do my gemstone favorites at the end like I did last time because I thought that was fun. So the first thing is deodorant because it is getting warmer out and that means more sweating. <laughs> so I thought I would mention my favorite deodorant because I just I really like this one. It's worked well for me for a long time now. It's a Nature's Gate Herbal Blend Deodorant, Lavender and Aloe. I haven't tried the other scents, uh, but this one's fine. Maybe there's one that's better smelling, but it's just kind of like a fresh, you can really smell the lavender. I'm not sure about the aloe. I'm not good at picking out scents, but it's like a clear gel, so it's really nice because I hate like when there's white stuff and it gets on your clothes or it's just visible. You know, it's completely clear gel. Um, just really nice. It works well for me. It's not an antiperspirant. It doesn't stop you from sweating, but I think that it helps me, you know, stay smelling fresh throughout the day. So I personally really like it and just wanted to throw it out there in case you're looking for a natural deodorant to try. And then I have, this is a new product that I bought recently and did a little haul. It's a gel eyeliner from ColourPop called No Shame. And I'll swatch it for you guys. Of course, then I'm not going to be able to get it off my hand. Because it is so budge proof. If you are looking for an eyeliner that really stays, this is it. Very dark purple. This is the color I've been wearing. I got a bunch of colors from them. I do have it on today, and I also have an eyeshadow that I'm going to mention for my favorites as well. So here's the eyeliner. I used tape to get it to be winged, and then this darker shadow. You see, I'll mention that in a minute. Um, but I love it. It's wonderful. It's not like super duper ridiculously natural, but it's also not, you know, horribly bad ingredients either. It's just kind of like a middle ground if you really need an eyeliner that is super budge proof, the kind of budge proof that you just can't get with natural ingredients. Um, so you're willing to kind of settle on some quasi natural kind of ingredients, then that is the eyeliner for you. And then I'm going to mention this concealer that looks very different now. This used to be the Christopher Drummond concealer in a little pump bottle. And then they um, became Hint Beauty, and it's a little squeezy tube bottle, which I also have. Um, but I've been trying to use this up before I use the squeezy tube. I really do like um, the squeezy tube, though. It's easy to get out of. Uh, but I think now they are um, in, like, a little pot. I should have brought the squeeze tube. Why didn't I bring that? But anyways, so it, it became, like, slightly thicker consistency when I was in the squeeze tube, so I really like that. Um, but in the pump bottle, it's a little liquidy. Here's what it looks like. And it's just a really good concealer. I hadn't used it for a while because I've been sticking with my Beauty Without Cruelty pencil for a long time because it's so easy because it's a pencil and you just kind of go, ooh, stuff fell down. Um, you know, da-da, da-da-da, blend it in. Um, this one you have to like pump it out, put on your finger, dot it on. I mean, that's not that much more work, but um, lately I've been using it and just really, really liking it because I felt like the pencil, for whatever reason, was just feeling um, like solid and I was softening it up on my fingers before applying it. Um, although now that it's warm out, it's probably all warm and melted again, but I really like the that this is liquid and it's just really easy to put on and easy to blend out. I wipe that off now so I can swatch this for you guys, which is a gorgeous shadow from Berisha called Everything Comes Out in Moron. And I, that's the one that I have on. It's so pretty. I have been wearing this every single time I do my eyeshadow or, you know, I, every single time that I wear eyeshadow, <laughs> I've been putting this on uh, ever since I bought it. It's just so perfect. I just love the way it looks. I'm obsessed with it. So um, I did press it 
for convenience. Here's my little pressed palette of stuff. And that has been amazing. And if I can dig it out here, I got one last little thing. And that's my lipstick today called Obsession. And I'm obsessed with it from Silk Naturals. So pretty. Oh my god. And it like matches the eyeshadow too. I think I'm just obsessed with this color. <laughs> These colors that they are. So that's so pretty. I know it's kind of fall winter shade. But my gosh that's beautiful. So that is all of my makeup y favorites. And check this out. Um, this is like a microfiber towel and I managed to get everything off except for this eyeliner which is so budge proof just wanted to show that too um, let's talk about gemstones or non makeup favorites um, one of these things is not technically a gemstone it is I'll start with it it's a resin or it is resin. <laughs> Amber is a resin, but this is just straight up resin that you get from the store and you do it yourself. And I really have been wanting to try it because I love the idea of making your own things, you know? So I am going to zoom in a little bit here. So when I hold stuff up, it's not like super far away and you can't see, but you get to see my face super up close for the next few minutes. So I've been experimenting, putting all of my pigments and micas and things into the resin. Unfortunately, it takes like 7,000 hours for it to get hard and for you to see the results. And I have zero patience, so that's kind of the downside. But um, these I put nail polish in, and then I put like a little bit of a pigment from TKB Trading. And I love that. That's so cool. And then this one, just like random stuff in there and sparkly one so I've been having a lot of fun and I read about something called organite which is kind of like a metaphysical thing it's basically resin and it needs a crystal like a quartz crystal which apparently quartz crystals do not show up in resin because they're completely clear there's one going across this way like a really cute little one and it's kind of wasted because you can't even see it because it just like blends into the clearness. <laughs> but I put like a little thing <laughs> from a bush, some rose flower petals and tried to make it all pretty. This one's got a nice little amethyst. You can see that. Um, and then there's a whole bunch of uh, metal. So you can't really see a lot of it is underneath this gray stuff, which is uh, steel wool. But there's a bunch of like little scraps of metal wire and like a little coil of the metal wire as well um that's just how you're supposed to make organite i think in in one of these you can see i think in this one in these ones you can see the, like the little coil in the back so um this one i was able to put a little flower inside and this one has just some crystals they didn't show up that well they're just kind of see-through. You can see the crystals a little better in this one. So I've just been experimenting with that because I read about it and I saw some neat ones that people make. So just wanted to try it out and it's been really fun. If you're looking for a hobby, <laughs> try making things out of resin. You can put like pictures in there. You can put stickers. You can put candy sprinkles. There's all kinds of stuff that you can suspend in there. It's just it's fun. I have all kinds of plans and ideas. And then, kind of along the same lines, this kind of looks like, you know, <laughs> so something suspended in resin. This is a gemstone called Lodolite or Phantom Quartz. And these are so cool because it's quartz that has, I don't know exactly what all the different things are. I don't know if it's like dirt or sand or plants or what it is but it's just things that are in the quartz that make it look like there's like a little scene in there and it's so neat if my camera would focus to show you it's just like a oh, it's like a forest in there I love that I love staring at these things <laughs> all day long so I got obsessed and I bought a million of them to wrap um, this one is kind of funky. I don't know if 
there's like, you know, quartz and amethyst can kind of be together sometimes. I don't know if that's what makes this one purple. It was called Laudalite though. And then another gemstone that I want to mention that um, I've been buying some of lately so I can start making jewelry with it. Uh, this is a really neat stone. It is um, aquamarine. But what's neat about it, about this particular one, is some aquamarine stones can be um, titoyant or have this kind of sheen or shine. This is something that I love about, you know, a lot of stones that have this effect. Like labradorite is, I mean, it's a little different because it flashes color. This kind of just has like a white shimmery flash to it, but... I'm always excited when I find like another type of stone that has this kind of effect because I love it. It's so pretty. So just throwing it out there in case you like it too. Um, I thought I would share that info. And I'm going to zoom on out. So also, I didn't bring any food things to show you guys, but I have had some food favorites this past month. I've been really enjoying the Jovial brand of cookies that pretty much like all their cookies. Um, they have some really nice gluten-free chocolate filled ones that are delicious and you can find it at Whole Foods or Vitacost and they have some that are not gluten-free that are made with the Angkorn wheat which they use which is an ancient wheat and there's um, ginger ones that are so good. <laughs> so that has been something that I've been enjoying and now that it's almost Easter, or Easter probably has already happened by the time that I post this video. I'm sure I'll be eating lots of treats because the kids get, you know, little candies and their eggs that we hide around the house. So just when I'm trying to be good and stop myself from eating cookies and I like finally didn't buy cookies this week, I'm probably going to end up eating candy. So anyways, um, that is all of my favorites. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.